Hey, what's going on, people? Uh, this is uh, Warren Fox, Robert J. Arnold, or Kong Yo Yo, Kong Tai Long. I mean, whatever you want to call me, you know, it's all good, really. Uh, call me, call me Kung Fu. That's what you can call me. Uh, anyway, I, I usually would write a blog about uh, some of my experiences and training and different things. You can you can check my blog at Warrior Fox uh, Blogspot. Da 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 da. Um, you know, uh, last night I ended up getting into. A uh, little bit of a situation. I won't call it a fight. You know, uh, it's more like a, an incident. You know, but me growing up, you know, I grew up fighting with my brother. So when something happens, you know, we like to tell it, and I, I wanted, you know, to type the story out. But it, it, it'd take too long, and you'd miss a lot of the whole point of what was really going on. So, uh, long story short, you know, I'm dancing. I'm looking for work um, currently. Kind of, uh, if if I can work in a club, I can work in a club. You know, I'm a rapper and a dancer. Uh, I'm I'm a dapper. Or, or or rancer, I don't know. You know, just I I need to I, you know I do I hustle. However, I got to hustle, right? And uh, so and I have a formula. You know, I get you know I'm married. I ain't really you know I ain't, you know I ain't playing no games or nothing like that. You know, but the formula is like I got to get everybody up. I got to get everybody getting in the mood to really just dance. You know, that means I'm gonna like if you sitting down, I'm gonna drink with you, I'm gonna dance with you, I'm gonna holler at you, I'm gonna make you do something to move until everybody gets on the floor. And then we all start grooving. That's my plan. I want you grooving with me, right? You know, it's it's a it's a good feeling, and it's really, it's really successful. I don't really have any uh, big problems. Um, you know, I've been doing this for like ten years, and you know, I've, I've it's not. I'm, I've had maybe you know four or five fights fights on the on the dance floor. You know that I had to use some bagua, but uh, but last night was it was it was interesting because uh, I had uh, two different fights or no two different incidents that happened. And, uh, you know, right when the party's about to get, you know, it's about to get, you know, hot, exploding. I mean, I'm up there. People are really going in their dome. You know, I got the hands up. And everybody's like, hands up, jamming, you know, right before they're about to give me the microphone. You know, and, and you know, uh, this hat is really like the key. It's going to draw a lot of attention. You know, uh, if you like me, you see me in this hat, you really going to like me. You know, if you don't like me and you see me in this hat, you really won't like me. Right. So, uh this guy, you know, pulls me down off the stage, and I'm friendly, so I'm thinking like, oh, it's it's no big deal, you know. But he's kind of swole, so I'm paying attention. Pay pay attention to the swole ones. If they swole, you better pay attention, right? You know. And uh, he pull, pulls me down, and he's you know on my hand, and I'm like, okay, you know. And I'm, I lean over to see like, what, you know, what do you want to say, you know? And then he gets ready to put my finger. Or my thumb into a thumb lock. Now, I, my brother Eddie teaches Hapkido, so I've seen a lot of locks, you know. Uh, but, you know, when he does that, I just kind of slip out, you know, and then he grabs my elbow and I slip out of that and he grabs, you know, grabs another part of me, you know, and then I, I move out of that and I'm just basically using, you know, my, my core and I'm just sinking back and relaxing, you know, and every time he gets me in a hole, I pull out of it. We go about three of these transitions before I realize, like, I'm in the fight right now. This guy is trying to hurt me, you know, and then he steps behind me to really like, you know, to, to throw me down. And when he goes in for that for that throw there, I can just feel his momentum coming in, right? So I just sink my weight and I just turn in, in in the good part of the shoulder and I just crash it right into his solar plexus real hard, you know, just like, <clears throat> you know, and then I hold on to his hands like, you know, he's I don't want him to puke on me. I mean, like, it's like he's like. He's drunk, you know, and I just hold on to his hands and I walk him over to the side and I sit him down at the table, you know, and he's out of breath and he's like, you know, and I, I just tell the bouncer, I'm like, yo, man, my friend's not feeling very well. Why don't you just watch out for him, you know, but nobody noticed because the whole time this thing is happening, it looks like we're just dancing, you know, and that's that's the key because really when you're dancing, you're watching everybody's rhythm out there on the dance floor anyway, right, you know, so the night goes on, it progresses, I forget all about it, I'm having fun. We are just clowning around. I mean, I got the groove going again, you know. And I got this group of girls, you know. And I'm, 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 yeah, I'm paying attention, you know. I, I see somebody. I'm, I'm dancing with this girl at one point, and uh, you know, it's not like I said. Like you know, I'm married. I ain't getting really physical with it. But you know, I see this guy. He's just got this look, like you know. And I walk over to him. I'm like, "Yo, man, is that your girl?" And he's like. Oh, yeah, it's okay. You can dance. I'm like, no, it's fine. It's fine. You know, it's really not that serious. I don't care, you know. Uh, anyway, but I'm dancing next to this group of girls, and this other dude, he just comes out from the side of me, you know, and uh, he kind of tries to throw like a little sneak something, something, you know, I, I wasn't really paying attention to it. Like, you know, let me see if I can stand up and show you. You know, he tries to kind of like throw a little sneak something to my side, you know. I step back. And I just kind of glided out of the way, a little Bagua Perry, you know, I just glided past out of the way. And he thinks, 
he thinks maybe it's just like a coincidence. He's like, oh, I just happened to, you know, try to punch this dude, you know, and he just happened to step out of the, out of the way of it, you know. Uh, let me adjust my damn camera. Camera's messing up. Damn it. Good. Right. So anyway, yeah, he comes in, he tries to throw, uh, sneak something from the side at me, you know, I just kind of parry it to the side, you know, and I'm kind of wondering in my mind, I'm like, what is going on? Why are these people, you know, is it really this hat? You know, uh, I mean, uh, damn, you know what I'm saying, right? But anyway, uh, I parry it to the side, he thinks it's a coincidence, and, but I'm already watching him now, and I'm just kind of figuring like, okay, you know, I think I might be in another situation here in Beijing, you know, and then he, after that, he throws... Uh, like, you know, I think it was like, it happened so fast at this point, because after I parried it, I think he was going to just make sure that he, he was going to just, you know, take me out, you know, so it was a real fast fury, I assume it was chain punches, my, my, my old, my second brother, he teaches Wayne Chung, so I'm real familiar with that too, you know, uh, but it happened so fast, I can't be certain for sure, you know, I assume the first dude was a grapple, the second dude was a Wing Chun dude, I mean, whatever you want to be, right, uh, but anyway, you know, it, my, when you're dancing, and you, even though you look silly, and you're having fun, right, your hands are up, your hands are always up, your hands are up, and your elbows are protecting you, you know, so when it comes in, I just turn my hip, my waist, right, parry it, turn it back again, parry it the next way, you know, and next you know, he throws a third punch, by the time he gets to the third punch, you know, his hands are trapped together like this, so I spin him around, and I just choke him out on his tippy toes, you know. And then I, I don't I don't choke him completely out. Just enough so he gets calm, you know. That calm choke, you know what I mean, where you, you don't pass out, but you definitely feel like, oh, so dizzy, right. I took him from that, and then I sat him down at the table, you know, and then, uh, you know, we just, you know, like, he was like, what was that? And I was like, that was Bagua. He was like, oh, you do Bagua. I was like, yeah. I was like, in fact, I'm selling DVDs, so uh, if you want some, you know, and then, you know, I gave him some information, we had some drinks, and he bought my DVD. How about that? <laughs>